Hey, what's good, fam? This is your truly JD King. I let the welcome y'all right here to the hot spot. Listen, we're gonna do something different. Listen, I really only supposed to be coming on on Saturdays, really. But um we had some technical difficulties yesterday. No, I ain't. I'm I'm put it this way, it was my fault yesterday. Um, like doing the editing sometimes when you're editing a 45 minutes or 25, 35 minute program, it takes some time for to export maybe an hour, hour and a half to export. So I'll have some problems with um when I try to export it and say I, I have I had enough um enough time space. So I'm like, I had no time space. I said, man, what the heck going on? So I kept trying to, kept trying to, kept trying to, kept trying. You heard my family. And then, um, so they ended up to being like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So I said, well, the show supposed to be been between 5, well, between, I wanted to put it out between 4 and 5.30 uh, Saturday evening. But that didn't happen. You heard me. So I ended up putting out early this morning. And then, so when you hear me saying I'm supposed to be around five o'clock, so I take full responsibility for that. You heard my family. But thank y'all for though y'all still showed us some love, and I truly appreciate that. And thank y'all for tuning in right here to the hot spot. You heard me. Yes, indeed. One God, one love. This is your truly JD King right here at the hot spot. Listen, we're going to do something different tonight. Uh, I want to introduce y'all to a brother. Uh, this is old. This is, I'm doing a throwback today. You heard me. And this is my brother. Um, D. Jackson, he's originally from Miami, Florida. Um, I think he's from Opelaka, Opelaka, Florida. You heard me? And um, we did an interview with him in Edenville, Florida. That's outside of Orlando, Florida. If y'all not familiar with Edenville, Florida, it is, a, it, it is a historical black town. You heard me? African-American town in Edenville, Florida, right outside of Orlando, Florida. You heard me? It's like a, you know what I'm saying? Stone away from it. You heard me? Yes, indeed. So, please, I please hope y'all enjoy it. Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on it. This is your truth. Welcome to the hot spot right here. You heard me? And the reason it's called the hot spot because it's hot in here. Until my for real. Like, literally. You hear the fan, right? I know y'all hear me say this all the time. Oh, excuse me. And um, listen, man, I want to thank y'all again for all the love that y'all showed us on last night episode. Well, today. I showed it today. Episode. Thank y'all so much. Even the, even the delay and all that, y'all still gave us so much love. It's right here on Out the Box Fam Network TV, the hot spot yesterday. We got a lot of great things coming up. You heard me? So thank y'all so much. This is your truly JD King. You heard me? Y'all see that King back though? You see it? What to go on? To God be all the glory. God is the original King. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the King. You heard me? That's what it is. And we just his soldiers. It did through the good and the bad, through the ups and the downs. It did. So listen, I want y'all to tune in for it, man. Tune in right now. Thank you so much. This is my brother D Jackson. And we're gonna come back and holler at y'all just for a little bit. You heard me? You feel me? And I want y'all to get to know D Jackson for a minute. He got some he got a new record out right now. You heard me, family yesterday. One God, one love. This is my brother. He's from uh, Miami, Florida, Opelaka. This is D Jackson. Will he tell his story, what he been through, where he came from. The interview, once again, was in Edenville, Florida, a historical black town outside of Orlando, Florida. Look Edenville, Florida up. It's a lot of historical, historical, historical. You heard me? Yes, indeed. Um, people that actually come from that town. You did? So check it out. This is your tutor, J.D. King. One God, one love. This is the hot spot. You heard me? One God, one love. What a God. Yes, indeed, family. Let's get it in. You know what? I ain't for nothing. Life. Praying about mine. Keep it in my life. Rich
Hey, what's good? I told y'all it was coming. Red Hill, D Jackson. What's good, D? What's up, man? Yes, indeed, my brother. Hey, man, let's go ahead and jump right into the interview, my brother. You understand what I'm saying? First of all, man, let's get into your project first. You know what I'm saying? What's coming out and all that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Okay, we got that, uh, I can't from a low, long way single, that's coming out, uh, I think on the 30th, something like that, and then we got that, uh, uh, EP coming out, made over EP, so we got that coming out soon as well, so y'all keep your heads up for that game. That's what's up, man. All right, let's jump right into it, my brother. Okay, let's go ahead and give me some history, man, where you come from. Well, you know I'm out of my uh, born and raised in Overlock. Uh, went to Miami Central High School. You know, ended up, you know, coming from a rough past in my life. Uh, ended up having to challenge certain things on the street. Ended up going to prison. As I'm doing that time, you know, that's why I started writing my music. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. So you didn't have some, you know, some, some travel. I mean, some trials and tribulations in your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, give us, what's, what's, um, actually, what drew you to Christ? What, what was that point, turning point in your life, man? My brother said, I mean, I don't have enough of this. I'm tired. I just really, man. To be honest, uh, I feel like I don't did whatever I had to do on the streets, whatever I accomplished, whatever God pulled me from. I don't did a whole lot of things I felt good or wrong. But I just did, you know, when I went to prison, you know, and did that time, it kind of was a time that, uh, that God shot me down for me to really for me to get my head straight and my mind right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they used to have, like, no rap battles on the compound and things like that. That's when I started writing music. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody, you know, they going against the rap, they going to fast music. And I wanted to, you know, write for Christ. Mm -hmm. So I wrote my first song in the prison. You know? I had that song for like 10 years. I brought it on the streets. I performed it in certain churches and things like that. But I feel like I wasn't ready yet. Mm -hmm. I had one foot in, one foot out. You know, still, you know, dealing with certain things in my life. Uh, it just was a turn of, it was just a turnaround, but God just had his way of, you know, really connecting with me and really pulling me close to him. And you know, once he did that, I just think the music really started hitting me. And I really started, you know, taking it full force when it came to, you know, writing the music for Christ. So mm -hmm. I just took off from there. Okay, how was it growing up in Oklahoma? Man, just growing up in Oklahoma was one of the, probably the toughest, toughest days of my life. I'm talking about from shorty hood to probably, I mean, when it came to, you know, having a shorty life, you know, growing up, having uh, a mother and father, uh, Christmas and birthdays and things like that, I never had no, I never had none of that. You know what I'm saying? Never had none of that. It was a rough situation at that time of uh, uh, struggling and really ain't had none of eat half of the time, lights off, barely had a, a, you know, a roof over my head. But, you know, God, he made it through. He pulled up through certain situations, you know what I'm saying? It took some time, though. I mean, it was pretty much like, i say probably like five, six years of struggle. I mean, struggling, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, my mama, she always worked, and she always did what she had to do to provide for her kids. Mm -hmm. But there were just other transactions that was kind of still knocking us down. Every time we make a step and try to come up, we go down two steps. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, God made his way, man. He had his plan to work things out, make things better. So we had to just go for nothing. And bless me, pull me out of these streets Told them guns, selling drugs to make it to judge me Bigger plans for me, nothing but love be showing me A better man, not my life, just bless He chose me, I understand But the way to sin can cost me Keeping distance from me phones and keeping it godly His blood that he shed, it didn't leave me lonely When he died on that cross, we all was set free I'm like that lion in the jungle, ready to rumble Yeah, you better think Welcome back, family, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that interview. You heard me? That's about a year and some change ago. You heard me? Hey, man, he doing great things now, man. He had his own business. He got his own business on maintenance business, and plus he's still um, repping for the kingdom of heaven. You heard me? So check out my brother D. Jackson. He's on Facebook. 
You heard me, yes, indeed. Check them out, man, when you have some time. So thank y'all for joining us for this few minutes, for the, for this time that y'all able to join us, man. Happy Sunday to everybody. And um, I know y'all, a lot of y'all, a few people be hitting me up. When is Tamaya? We've been hearing that her show is coming. It's coming. I need y'all to please bear with us. Her show is coming to God be the glory. So we just, we just, we want to put it out, do our best to put it out right. And um, we got some things, some little touches up on it that we have to do. And um, so I'm, I'm glad y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? That y'all giving us this energy about her show. And I truly appreciate it. Miss Tamaya, she's a gloss boss. She's out of Memphis, Tennessee. So I'm so happy to hear that. So thank y'all for the good feedback. You heard me yesterday. One God, one love. And uh, this is the hot spot right here. The hot spot. And the reason we call it the hot spot because it's hot. Like literally hot. Like for real, for real. I know y'all hear me say that all the time, don't you? Because it's true. <laughs> you heard me? Yesterday, thank y'all so much. We're going to show a video. And um, I want y'all to have a beautiful, blessed, peaceful week. You heard me? Happy weekend. You dig one God, one love. And we're going to work on every day by the grace of God to do better, to do better every day. And we're going to give you our faults, our ups and downs. And you're going to see you're going to see everything with us. You feel me? Our mistakes and all of that. So that we, um, by the grace of God, that we can grow together as family, grow together as friends, grow together as Christians, grow together doing our mistakes, our ups and downs and our rights and wrongs, that we can grow together and learn to continue to keep each other in prayer. Keep it positive, but first, keep God first. You heard me? Yes, indeed. One God, one love. You heard me? This is your truly J.D. King right here at the hot spot. To God be all the glory. You already know what time it is. What time? Go on. Listen, we got a lot of great things coming up. And I want to give a big shout out to Cordace. He's originally out of Haines City, Florida. He got a song coming out called Jump. You heard me? He's out there in Pennsylvania right now. You dig what I'm saying? And all the great book authors that's coming. To God be the glory. Um, I, I be I be pronouncing certain people's names wrong, man. Forgive me. I'm, I'm not the greatest name pronouncer in the world. You heard me. So I say my sister, sister chosen. She got a book called From a Hotel to a Housewife. That means how God changed your life. You feel me? And by the, the grace of God, change your life from this lifestyle to, to living for Jesus Christ in heaven. You heard me. And I want to give a big shout out to my sister, man. Um, she's one of the most sweetest person you can ever meet in your life. Her heart is wonderful. You feel me? Miss Pamela Elder. God bless you. She got a book called um, Stop Kissing Frogs. And man, all these books is on Amazon stores right now. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. And I'm going to give a big shout out to my big brother. You heard me. I called him big brother. You heard me. Yes, indeed. One God, one love. Mr. David Harris with a book, A Song of Zipporah. It's in Amazon stores right now. Let's get this book because it's a beautiful thing. I got the book. Yes, indeed. And it's a beautiful book. And I listen, I ain't never been much of a great reader. I'm just being real with you. But man, look at here. These books is worth reading. I'm telling you, to God be all the glory. So, man, let's go ahead and support our book authors. And listen, big shout out to North Carolina. Big shout out to all the book authors of the world. And I want to give a big shout out to documentaries. It's also coming soon, too. You heard me. Uh, written by David Harris and produced by your boy, Julie J.D. King. And uh, edited by J.D. King and my sister. She's out of, also out of North Carolina, too. These three book authors out of North Carolina, man. I'm telling you, North Carolina, man, look at here. What's up, Gwan? And um, give a big shout out to uh, Rashiba Battles from the pole pit to the pool pit. You heard me. These things have God. God is a life changer. And it's real. You dig, family? And this is what this platform is all about. You feel me? Just being real. Just just doing what God places in the heart for us to do. Keeping it positive with love. You heard me? Yes, indeed. One God, one love. And listen, once again, I'm going to say this once again, family. Don't You you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You heard me? Don't allow nobody to put you in a situation you got to prove something to them, which you don't. As long as you continue to do what God, you feel that God places in your heart for you to do, it's okay. You dig? So let's keep it positive. Let's keep God first. You feel me? And do what you got to do to be able to help others. So one day it's coming soon, you dig? So, hey, thank you for joining the hot spot today. We're going to go ahead and play a video. This is your truly J.D. King. One God, one love. One, and I want you to check out my sister. Show you heard me. It's wonderful. She's out of Denver, Colorado. 
I love my little sister, man. Woo! What the God? Her name is Miss Yetta, and her and she's the chosen. Uh, excuse me. It's conversation with Miss Yetta. You heard out of Denver, Colorado. That's my I love her so much, my little sister. And also, I want you to check out uh, Queen's Court Conversations. You heard me? She's woo. She's fire. You feel me? So thank you so much for all the love that y'all continue to show. We love you dearly. This is your truly J.D. King right here. This is on Out the Box Film Network TV. This is a hot spot. You already know what time it is. What a guan. You heard me? Yes, indeed, family. What a guan. We love y'all, and we know y'all love us. Yes, indeed. On the front line, right side for mine Mississippi brand, Holy Ghost inside My niggas come and get me cause they know I'm a ride Down for the cause, no time for pride It's the God in me, it's the God inside Any God in you know it's kingdom time And I'ma shine this little low light of mine Got a couple thousand souls to find it Ain't gon' stop till it's satisfied I'ma use this grand old gift to rhyme like Hail Mary, Rose of Sharon Shadrach and Abednego, Meshach and Devil That's a no, no, no shackles allowed On the threshing flow, with another Hail Mary I just hit the flow, praying on my knees to the one that know when these are my confessions Long as I rest in him I vow to never lose my praise again Living in Christ, I ain't living in sin Ain't a devil in hell that can kill the kid Finish pouring out, I'ma re-up again Ripping on the wood like Jesus did I be ripping on the wood like Jesus did Yeah, I'm so I didn't even hold out, no patience, divisible, my God, one nation, he giving me his grace, amazing, started from the bottom, now I'm up with him, it ain't my battle, but I'm on the field, I baptize and advise, you know it's real, and I ain't for the enemy and praise to kill, eyes on the hill, and they watching me, I submit to the word, then I watch and flee, I've been bought with a price, no bonded fee, gave his only son, that's loyalty, walk by faith, that's how I 